San Francisco tonight is supporting both the city's transgender community and part of the city that has struggled since COVID. Jose Martinez takes us to the start of this year's Drag Me Downtown series. It's officially Pride Month in San Francisco, and here in downtown, the party is alive, but the first Drag Me Downtown event benefiting the transgender district. Glitter, glam, and a lot of charisma. The perfect recipe to bring back life to downtown San Francisco, says Bobby Friday. Drag is about unlocking that, like, inner spirit that you have to just shine and feel fierce and fabulous and over the top. Bobby is the host of the Drag Me Downtown event series right. kickoff starting with an exciting night at Harrington's Bar and Grill on Front Street. Last year, this event attracted over 200 people each time. This year is set to be even bigger. I helped them produce the first event series of Drag Me Downtown, and it was such a success. People loved it so much. And it was so fun to bring uh, queer beauty and queer art into spaces that maybe you wouldn't find it typically. This time, dozens of people gather at Harrington's to enjoy a night of spectacular shows and entertainment. The event is part of a broader effort to breathe new life into downtown while celebrating pride. It's a really important thing to remind folks that downtown is for everybody, you know. I kind of sort of kiddingly say it's not just bros in puffer vests that are coming to work for banks and tech companies. It is somebody or somewhere that has always been really embracing of the LGBTQ plus community, whether it's here, whether it's Soma, whether it's the Tenderloin, you know, this is everybody's downtown. <laughs> People think it's a chicken or egg thing, right? Like people, they used to work downtown because they had to. Now, they have, now they're gonna come downtown because they want to. And so we have to give them reasons to want to come downtown, right? And uh, first Thursdays, drag me downtown. The entertainment zone we're putting right out here. While the event is free to attend, pre-registration is encouraged. All proceeds from the $10 pre-registration fee benefit San Francisco's transgender district first legally recognized transgender district in the world. So Bobby tells me, come and support, because while other places in the country say no to drugs, San Francisco says yes and sashay away. We want to celebrate who you are, and I think that that's what this series is actually about. And Bobby tells me this is just the beginning of what we are expecting to do. Very delicious solution for the LGBTQ community in San Francisco. so much fun now, this year's Drag Me Downtown series features new performers at different downtown restaurants each week. Upcoming events include stops at Pabu Izakaya. That's on June 13th. Now, a week later, it's on the third floor of the J Hotel on June 20th and one market restaurant on June 27th.